with no bank Move the legs, say something Never tell a back that I never stay running Hey guys, it's Carlo from Samurai Media and welcome to another episode of Samurai TV. Today, we are joined by one of the co-founders of Rain Garage, Erkan. Erkan, right. welcome to the show. Thank you for coming. Thank so, you. today we're gonna be, I guess, asking you some questions about your beautiful Mustang that's just behind you. And yeah, are you ready? I'm ready. Perfect, let's kick it off. So, the first question, tell us about your car. What exactly is your car? So my car is a 2016 Ford Mustang GT. Uh, it's been highly modified. Uh, can see that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's not much I haven't done to it. So what would you like to know? I mean, I guess start from the exterior. What have you done to the exterior? So we've got a wide body on it. Mm -hmm. um, the hood is an aftermarket hood. Mm -hmm. The hood latches were also an addition custom. To, to the hood which didn't actually come with the latches. And what is the actual purpose of the hood latches like? Um, well, it's old school, old school muscle. Yeah. Of course, yeah. nice, nice. Yeah. And um, yeah, tell us a little bit more. So the, is it painted or did you wrap it here at Rain or? So we definitely wrapped it here at Rain Garage. Of course. Um, well, there's a bit of an evolution to that story, but we'll, we'll say we wrapped it at Rain Garage. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Um, the car originally is red, yep. factory. Um, I, I did same type of red. Kind it's of thing? a gloss red. Okay, gloss yep. red. Um, and I originally wanted mattes, right? But we couldn't find the mattes in the in the red. It was more of a burgundy. Yeah. So we settled for satin, which was a close second. So yeah. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah. Pretty. Close. And then we've got some louvers at the back as well. Again, old yeah, school. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Like even on the side, kind of things there as well. Yep. Um, yep. Is it is it functional at all? Like, I mean, can you see at all behind you? Yeah, or? You, you actually, really? yeah, you actually can see. Okay. Um, again, it just adds a bit of old school characteristics to the to the car. Of course, absolutely. And tell us about these really aggressive wheels that you have on the car. Okay, so yes, they're custom made wheels, which we found the design on an image, and we really liked it. Mm. We couldn't find the. Um, we had trouble finding the manufacturer. So we were lucky enough, uh, Icon Forge yep. were able to replicate the design nice. with some minor tweaks, of course. Of course, of course. And um, yeah, here we are today. Yeah, nice. Just feeling those new wide body guards. Nice, absolutely. And I, I honestly really love the look of your car. I mean, it definitely stands out. Um, it's, it, I've never seen a Mustang like it, Thank I must you. say. I mean, I guess that brings me to the next question. Why did you take this approach for the build was it always kind of in your line of sight or did you want to go a completely different direction tell us a little bit more about the that's thought good, process that's, of yeah it. that's a good question so look growing up as a kid mustangs are always very iconic of course, um, of course you know as a young kid you always wanted one and when i found out that they were bringing the mustangs to australia and i think it was around 2015 yeah 14 yeah yeah i said yeah it's time i need one yeah and that's where the dream started, to be honest. Yeah. Absolutely. And from there, it, look, the vision isn't what, I didn't have this vision, but luckily really? I met Alpha. Oh, really? <laughs> so, we, right down to the bags, am I right? <laughs> straight from the bags. I think that's pretty much, that was the first thing, right? Yeah. yeah. I think, I'm pretty sure it <laughs> was the first thing. Of course. We, we, uh, if you guys know Alpha, he'll, as soon as you meet him, he'll just be like, bro, just bag your car. Yeah, like, no. the first thing you say. Doesn't matter about the wheels, well, that's second. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So what was your, I guess, your original vision for the car? Did, was it a wide body, was it? It definitely, you know, kind of, yeah. No, it definitely wasn't a wide body. Uh, I mean, you always see images of old school muscle cars of and course. with the flared guards. Of course. But I never thought you could do that in, well, back then a modern day car of course i kind of pull it off right yeah, yeah yeah so we managed to do it i guess i mean i'm happy it's not everyone's cup of tea but yeah. i love my mustang so yeah. absolutely yeah and for every right reason i mean it, it is a beautiful mustang um i guess what's next do you have much in the pipeline in terms of modifying it or you know kind of what's next look modification wise i think i've spent enough <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with the way it looks. Yep. Um, we can always play around with the colour changes, of course. Of course. Here at Rain Garage. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Um, absolutely. But other than that, yeah, 
Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's good the way it is. Okay, so that brings me to the next question. I mean, what makes you the most happy about the car? Oof. What brings a smile to your face? Um, look, everything. Yeah? Yeah, everything. There's, there's nothing. I love the wheels. Yeah, of course. We, we definitely needed these wheels on it with the wide body because there was a lot of guard to fill. Of course. Um, I don't know. I'd have to ask Alpha about that one. But I think the wheels. I'll just, just, just buy a little bit of the wheels. Of course, absolutely. Yeah. And um, I can see that you've got, um, you know, a lot of different colors in your dat, like in your interior. Is that mm. custom or is that yeah. actually like a factory build? No, well? so the, the factory was black uh, vinyl. Yep. Uh, yeah, so I did do the interior. Uh, Napa leather. Yep. With uh, suede roof lining. Right. Which uh, just resembles a bit of Ferrari. Of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, I do love the touch of it. I mean, I remember when I saw it at uh, Hot Import Nights, I like, because your doors were closed. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, like I've never seen that interior before. And then you showed me and you were like, oh, touch the roof lining and everything. And it was, yeah, it was feels phenomenal. Good. It feels does, good. it feels really good. It felt like it just came straight off the cow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> straight off the cow, sanded well, a little bit. it's funny you say that because I actually handled the, the piece of fabric. Really? It came in a roll and I saw a tear in it. Really? And you know, you don't think of it, it comes off a cow. Yeah. I, and I said to our Concept Garage, mind you, great job on the interior. Um, I said, there's a tear, like what are we going to... And he, he explained to me that, well, it's a natural product. I said, how so? And then obviously it yeah, clicked. Yeah, it kind of clicked, yeah. So what's, what's the um, maintenance like on it? Because obviously, you know, leather dries out or, you know, scuffs up a little bit over time. Um, is there much kind of, you know, maintenance in that respect? Or? So look, we've ceramic coated that here oh, at really? Lane Garage, of course. Nice. Um, so maintenance wise, it's so far, nothing. But the car doesn't get driven or used much, so. Of course. And yeah, that-, that Bit of a garage queen, is it? It is a garage queen. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, yeah. gotta respect it. I mean, you can't bring out a beast like this every day anyway. No, like, no. you know, people, people should have small doses of it just so you know what I mean like because Absolutely. yeah well I mean there's got to be enough trophies for everyone you know speaking about we're, trophies we're, tell us a little bit <laughs> more about your to trophies. The trophies yeah um, so yeah this is tell the, us about this one here th this this is the one I couldn't remember uh, last time we met so best of the rest that doesn't HC best of the rest what is HCU oh. um, oh, oh, yeah. 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 um yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this one because best of the rest doesn't seem too special. It almost sounds like um, second, maybe like a participant. Yeah, yeah, second, second place. place. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, so that's, that's 100%. that one. And, and, and these, these uh, are my proud trophies at Hot Import Nights. My first ever car show. Right. Taking and then you, out two awards. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. And how did you feel not winning a trophy this year? Look. <laughs> <laughs> It was a little disappointing, yeah. But it's yeah. understandable, yeah. right? Like yeah. I mean, look, we were posted out. all over the screen all day. The trophies were there. I think that's where we went wrong, to be honest. I think so. Did yeah. you bring the trophies with you to Hot? We, we didn't nights? need to. They were on like a six meter screen all day long. So, <laughs> and I think um, I think I really Alpha had think something to do with that I, as well. I personally think that's what lost <laughs> it for us. But you know, we learn. <laughs> We learn. Of course. <laughs> Next time, just don't give them permission to post photos. We like should have blurted out, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Or maybe even wrap the car before it. So then they're it's like, a different oh, Mustang. It's a completely different Mustang. Should have went green. I yeah. think that guy won an award. No, I didn't. No? It was the white Camaro, the I think yeah, it was. Did, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, so, I mean, these trophies, I mean, like, you know, was that kind of, were you expecting it? Or like, um, did you kind of go to the show with the intention, oh, okay, I better go here and win a trophy or else I'm never coming again? Look, I think the USDM, mm -hmm. it's, it, I was a rare car. There wasn't a lot of USDMs there. Of so, course. And I felt like, not to sound modest, but it was the nicer car there on the day. Yeah. Um, I was blown away by the stance. Yeah, I'll be honest. And, and I asked the trophy maker not to put my name on it <clears throat> so I can give it to my friend Alpha. Because yeah. I, I believe he hasn't won one yet, so. Oh, so Alpha and, hasn't and, won and a he, trophy. Yeah, and the stance was all because of the air, air suspension, which is Alpha's idea. I can't take any credit whatsoever. 
Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. I mean, <laughs> you know, like we love we love you being humble. We love we love the humbleness of Urkan over here. Thank you. All right, so tell us a little bit about uh, Rain Garage and I guess, you know, from the start, I mean, your experience, um, yeah. is everything kind of going to plan? Are you happy with where it is? Um, you know, are you excited for what's coming? Like, We're very excited about what's coming. Yeah. Uh, in terms of expectation to where yeah. we've, how far we've come in six to seven months, yeah. it's taken me back a little bit, to be honest. Mm. Um, yeah, as I said, super excited going good the the, the the image the concept was three years in the making of course and and course. and the place looks just as we thought about it in our heads nice and look we're starting to add a few more tweaks to it so of yeah. course absolutely yeah. absolutely and so, um yeah we'll, we'll see how we go in another six months 100 percent, 100 percent, and i guess we'll be here to document a lot of it and you know see how far we come from the first vlog that we did here at rain garage to I mean, I want to say the last, but no, like, don't say last. <laughs> like the, the one in six months. Yes. You know what I mean? Okay, so I wish I had more trophies to show you. <laughs> but you know, just I think Alpha's getting some made for you. Yes, okay. yes. I mean, for all you know, we didn't really win these because there's no names on them. But you know, I mean, we could always, I don't know, get like a bit of wrap or something, yeah, and then just chuck it on, get. A sticker printed on it and then so we can do that here at rain garage. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> see what i think so see rain garage also um helps makes trophies now so Absolutely. if you guys want a trophy wrapped and it's got someone else's name on it <laughs> we can do that for you <laughs> no problem so that pretty much wraps up the episode for today thank you so much for being on the show again and answering some questions about your beautiful mustang so if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you guys get notified when we put out more content. And look out for Rain Garage YouTube channel, which we'll be launching soon with Samurai Media. Yes. Hello. This one. So Eric, everybody wants to know. How much did you spend on the Mustang? <laughs> you fucked him. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> oh, you forgot? It's six years, bro. Okay. Does your wife know? Yeah. How much you said? Yeah. Okay. She paid the bills. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I tried to get it out of him. I, I know how much you spend, but uh, I don't know if he wants to reveal it. But yeah. Maybe next time. Next time we'll be asking car owners how much we spent. What they've spent on their car. That's a good question. Yeah. Right? and what they do for a living. We should ask that question. Why huh? Do you tell them, bro? <laughs> 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 I wouldn't have answered it. <laughs>